uh, over on Axios, uh, Erica Padley, Pandley, uh, some thoughtful suggestions I, I thought worthy of sharing with you about how to disagree at the dinner table. Uh, first of all, uh, she notes that some of the most successful minds in business, politics, and art were high school debaters. I was a high school debater. I encourage you, if you have kids or grandkids, to encourage them to be high school debaters. Um, it, it, it was probably, it, the, the two things that probably I learned that have been most useful to me in my life that I learned in, in high school anyway, or junior high school and high school, were debate and typing. <laughs> so, important skills. But anyway, she, she notes, A, number one, a little humility goes a long way. It's okay to let other people score points. It's okay to say, you know, I'm not sure about that, uh, those kind of things. It, that will help, actually, in your debate. Uh, you'll hear me say that from time to time. Give credit for other people when they actually make a good point. And, you know, rather than just have war with them, number one. Number two, agree to disagree from the start. So you start out by saying, you know, I know that I'm not going to change your mind and probably you're not going to change my mind. But, you know, let's put out our ideas and we can discuss them. And, you know, we don't have to fight this to the death. You know, we don't have to reach a point where one of us goes, oh, yeah, uncle. Um, you know, we'll just share our dis disagreements if we choose to. Um, number three, speak about your own experience. Talk about things you've personally witnessed or experienced instead of using generalizations. In fact, one of the one of the biggest mistakes that people make in debate is using generalizations, using words like always or every or, you know, you would do that all the time or every time somebody, you know. No, it's, it's never the case, right? Be specific. And number four, know when to let go. Not every topic is worth debating and not every debate is even worth winning or finishing. And uh, she has this strategy called block and bridge where somebody goes off on a tangent and you just don't want to engage with it. And you say, oh, that's interesting, and then change the subject. So you kind of block it by saying that's interesting. You stop the, the conversation, and then you go on. So, uh, you know, some ideas for, you know, things that we can do as we sit with our family. Of course, uh, the other thing that I strongly encourage, and we just, uh, Louise made the phone calls this morning, although we didn't have to, it turned out. All our, all our kids are on board, was uh, uh, because our, our 90 I think she's 96, 95, I'm not sure. My, my mother-in-law is coming over for Thanksgiving dinner and of course all the rest of us. Um, that no one's gonna be coming, nobody's gonna come in our house unless they've taken a COVID test within the previous hour. So that's, that's my number one piece of advice. All righty, uh, I'll pick up your phone calls on the other side of the break. Like I said, anything goes Wednesday here, Thanksgiving. We'll be 